This is a uh, 603 cubic inch big block Mopar uh, mega block. It's got a CNC ported cylinder head on it. Uh, hydraulic roller cam. It's 9.88 to one compression. It's going to Panama for a 74 Chrysler that is top secret. But anyway, this is a new motor for us, and uh, it's got a 4.675 crank, 4.530 bore. It's a nice Chrysler Mopar mega block, Mopar mega engine, whatever you want to call it. But it's big. It's got tons of torque. It's over 700 foot-pounds of torque at 4,000 RPM. I'm tuning the EFI right now. It's kind of like a, you got to drive by wire. It gets to learn. It's an EZ 2.0. Uh, I just made a great pull. Made almost 800 horsepower, and I'm not even done tuning it yet. Anyways, I'm going to give you a little look and uh, show, uh, show the customer what it looks like. So I'll walk you through it. That is the fast EFI 2.0. It does have eight injectors in it. Uh, it will support up to 1,200 horsepower. It's got a CNC ported cylinder head on it. It's got the Moroso pan, which uh, worked out really good, but we did put the new kit in it that actually has its own sump. We don't use the sump in the block because uh, it's just too small. Any bigger stump tube, by God, I can't get a big crank in it. But big custom headers, super, or it's got a Victor manifold on it. We've plumbed the water in and out of the block, as you can see. Uh, it's kind of a little tricky. But we did get it. Um, it just needs to be driven around a little bit to get a little bit of memory in it so it learns its fuel curve. Uh, no blow by at all. There's no evac in the motor at all. And just a really nice piece. 40 pounds of fuel pressure. Eight injectors. Starts like a 2015 car. Anyway, um, got to get to work. Hope you guys like the video.